So this is a great question, and I'm, I'm excited to answer this, actually. So here's how this works. The, the first thing we have to figure out is why can't anybody else afford to buy? You know, or, you know, who's providing for people who, who, who can't buy? Like, well, the question would be why? So in the U.S., when it was founded, the idea was that you didn't want a nation of renters. People were supposed to be owners. And so the, the, the question is, is like, well, who owns all of this property? Now, of course, if you go west, right, you find that most land is owned by the federal government or claimed to be owned by the federal government. This is done through gimmicky bullshit like, uh, oh, environmental this and, and preserve that. It's bullshit. It's just a way to keep prices artificially high in areas that, that, that people have done developments. Once again, remember how laws work. Laws only exist because somebody got rich and they don't want anybody else to do it, so they have to make a law so that you can't do what they just did. That's how this works, okay? It's how the game is played. It's why you want to get rid of a lot of laws, so that that way all these fake billionaires go away. So why can't they buy? Well, because, I mean, if we look at the cost, right? Like, So I, I, I work in contracting. Okay? I, I, I do contracting. I do a lot of things. I know you guys see me in a semi all the time, but I... I do contracting as well. And the cost to build a house, just the dwelling itself, especially if it's not a huge place, and especially if it's stick frame, which is about the cheapest out there, cheapest way to go out there, is really not as much as you might think, right? And it doesn't take as much time as you might think. Now, there's a guy on TikTok, and I cannot for the life remember his name. He is an actual house builder. And he calls this shit out all the time, that houses should not be costing six, seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollars $800,000. That is a function of, of the government and the bankers shoving these prices up and having, uh, having shills, you know, the, the rental bro shills, pay insane amounts of money for these properties and driving them way beyond their utility value. Um, and then creating, again, the preserve idea where, oh, you can't build here, you can't build here. And oh, that's you know th this property is owned you know this this massive chunk of land is owned by some giant hedge fund that like there's no reason for them to own it other than the so-called investment property. The investment property is not a viable argument, by the way. Okay, if you look if you look at if, if you you have to kind of understand the way the founders thought. Okay, the, the, the founders of our country, they, they, they understood that it was ridiculous, that it would be ridiculous if somebody just kind of went west and said, okay, all of this is mine now. This is my private estate because I'm here first. That, that's ridiculous because you can't, actually, you can't actually manage that property, that much land. Okay, there's, a, there's actually an old fable on that. I'm not going to spend all the time telling it, but it's like if, if effectively the, you know, the, this farmer finds a genie and the genie offers him any wish, and he says, great, I want a, bu a bunch of property. And, the genie, and so the guy decides to wait until you know, June 21st, the longest day in the, in, the, in the year, to go and work the land because the genie says you can have as much land as you can work in one day. So he waits for the longest day and then, of course, works himself into an early grave trying to maintain this ridiculous size of property that he had no business actually trying to trying to you know, so and then the story goes of course it's to the exclusion of the rest of his of his life and livelihood and, and his family and so on like that's what ends up happening so we have to, so we have to ask like why is it that this is happening and like i said so anyway this builder he points out that like this is bullshit when these when we see these ridiculous prices we can build extremely high quality houses for nowhere near what these other houses are are, are selling for or what people are asking for them so, in other words, it's fake. When you see these, these four and five hundred thousand dollar three two two shit boxes, that that I personally wouldn't pay you eighty five thousand bucks for. Um, that's not an exaggeration. I wouldn't give you eighty five grand for them in most cases, especially houses that were that are built in like the seventies and eighties. They're they're going to have they need to have uh, rehab done to them. They need to be gone through, and a lot of times they've got you know unless their plumbing's been gone through, they they're, they're going to have like a galvanized pipe, which means they need to have all that ripped out and PEX pipe put in. It's it's like. The, the cost to rehab these houses are, are just, just too high. It's actually cheaper to build a new one. And this is, of course, the, the case, as we see with a lot of things, right? I mean, you know, like, again, try to, try to rehab, like, a classic car and see how much that costs you versus just going and buying a new one. Same thing, okay? So 
this is the, the challenge with, with this kind of thing. It's like, why are all, who's going to provide all this stuff? Well, first of all, no one's really required to provide any of this stuff. And while it's not exactly a bad thing to have somebody who's, who, who maybe builds a house or builds 10 houses and they want to rent them out, it has to be done in such a way where, you, you, how do I want to say this? I want to say it like this. If you're just borrowing somebody else's money, in other words, you're going to a banker and the banker is conjuring money out of nothing, and then you're agreeing to pay this inflated price for the property to keep the property values artificially high, you're just doing their bidding. That's how. That's all you're doing, right? You're not doing that to to, to make a, a profit because the numbers are beyond. You know, and and I've, I've covered this on many occasions where you see these guys paying these ridiculous prices for these duplexes and houses, and you're like, none of them pencil. None of the math works out. The math don't math, and they're going in underwater every single month on these properties. So, not to over talk this, but. Um, but it's a great question, and the answer would be like, well, why should they have to be renting? Why couldn't they build themselves? That's another thing, too. We live in a day and age now where you don't have to be an expert in plumbing to go on YouTube and watch an expert, not just an expert. In a lot of cases, guys with like 35 years of experience in plumbing that will show you every tip and trick that you can possibly think of. And if you're willing to go a little slow and do it yourself... Right, you bring your costs down substantially, right? And of course, all those guys ask for is, "Hey, I've got a Patreon. Send me five bucks, and you know, and and like and subscribe, right?" Like, I mean, that that's pretty goddamn cheap, isn't it? Right? Okay. So, the same thing with with electrical. Now, again, I'm talking about final hookup. You may want to, you know, consult an actual pro on that. But as but as far as like, you know, like running running conduit. That, that's not that difficult. Like, I mean, I can show a 10-year-old how to do that. That's pretty goddamn simple. How to hook up a light switch? Again, I could show a 10-year-old kid how to do that. So this is, this is what I'm saying is that, like, these kinds of things are things that people should be learning, right? This is, where, this is so that, that way you're not obligating somebody else to do all of that for you. On TikTok, it's always on my feed, on my FYP, I will see some guy out in the woods, right, who builds a shelter in like a two, three days. Now, it doesn't have running water or, you know, it doesn't, it's got a bunch of things it doesn't have in terms of modern conveniences. But, but the fact is, is that it's still available for people to do it. The, the question is where? And that goes into the next part of that, which is the second part of my answer. I realize this is circuitous, but it's like there's a lot to touch on here. There's a lot to unpack. It's a, it's a big question. Why don't people own any land? Why? That used to be a big deal. People used to really like to own land because then you had a place to kind of go, right? If you've seen my earlier work, you know that I, I talk about the, the, the idea of homelessness and the idea of houselessness are mutually exclusive discussions, okay? They are not the same thing. A, you know, a home, home is a place to go. And there's no guarantee of a dwelling or domicile, okay? A dwelling or domicile is another matter entirely, and that's something that you can control, okay, through just how much you want to work. You know, if you want to have 25,000 square feet of insane mega mansion, okay, well, you're going to do a lot of work, right? No big deal. It can be done. Uh, I mean, that's how they used to build, like, a lot of old little stone castles back in the day. You just, you found a place of land, stuff, excavated a little bit, start stacking. I mean, it's kind of, so, and some of that shit still exists today. So, point being is that this is is one of these, these, these problems that can be solved by just not absorbing all the land and then saying it's owned by bankers, brokers, um you know, hedge funds, governments, shit like that, and then let people just go and take it the way that it was pretty much intended and the way that it's been going on for a long time. Remember, keep in mind, there's a reason why they're getting rid of, rid of right of adverse possession. They're certainly trying. And it's not because of musk waters. I know that that's the, the, all the buzzword right now, but, dude, no, it's because they want to make sure that they keep their holdings and don't lose it to common law.